Today on Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing, we're going to show you how to make a lure out of two plastic spoons. Let's get this started. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Brennan's Fabulous World of Fishing. Now, today I have a lure build for you. That is right, we're going to be taking two plastic spoons and turning them into a really cool looking popper. Now please note that this build is not that in-depth. I'm basically going to show you just how to build the body of this bait and then leave the paint job and the hooks and all that up to you. So that gives you some freedom to kind of do your own thing with and, you know, different styles, different tastes. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. All right, guys, the stuff you're gonna need for this build are pliers, super glue, some wire, I recommend it be pretty strong, Gorilla Glue, sandpaper, a hot glue gun, two plastic spoons, a small bobber, and a lead pellet, and iced tea to keep you hydrated. All right, let's build this thing. All right guys, so the first step in this build is to take these spoons and just remove the heads. Like this. Now you gotta be kinda careful when you do that because if you're a little too rough, you can crack the spoon and that's not what you wanna do. All right, we wanna join these two spoon halves to make the shell of our bait. But as you can see, there's a major gap. So this is where the sandpaper comes into play. You're gonna need to take your sandpaper and sand these down. All right guys, as you can see, we have rounded off the ends of these and they look pretty nice, but, at, but if you try and put them together, you can still see there's still a gap. What we're gonna need to do, if you look at this, there's this little lip here. We're gonna need to sand that flat. So bring out the sandpaper again and go to it. And the way you can tell when you're finished sanding is to just place the spoon on a flat surface and if it lays perfectly flat, you know that it's done. All right guys, the next step is to find the balance point to put your belly weight. Now a belly weight will help this bait sit perfectly in the water and it won't flip over. So to do that, we're gonna take our little pellet and we're just gonna simply drop it into this spoon and wherever it comes to rest, that is the point of gravity that we want. So it's resting right there in the center. So we'll now just take a little bit of super glue. And without disturbing the pellet, we'll just drop a drop on there. Well, it's more than a drop, but you drop some on there and let it dry. All right, now we're going to need to make a hole right about here. This is where the first of the hooks will go. Now I made my hole by just melting a small hole in here. I wouldn't recommend trying to drill through this because it's probably too brittle and it will crack. Now cut a piece of wire. Then make a loop right in the middle. Now stick it through the hole we made in the bottom of the spoon. Now glue it in place. All right, now as you can see, I have made a loop in this end of the wire and I also melted a little notch so that it will fit in there snugly. All right, now all we have to do is glue it in place. I also made a notch in the front for the front part of the wire. All right guys, we're getting ready to join these two parts together, but before we do that, we're gonna wanna add some structure to this lure. If I just put these two halves together, it's not gonna be very structurally sound. So I'm gonna add some Gorilla Glue. Now this is white Gorilla Glue. It dries in about 30 to 60 minutes. This is the fast drying stuff. I recommend you get this. You can use the other stuff, but it's gonna take a while. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna expand inside the lure and create a nice, solid, foam structure on the inside. All right, we're gonna add some of this Gorilla Glue. Now you don't have to go crazy. Remember this stuff expands three to four times the amount you put in. So just provide a good base layer in the bottom like this. Now you can use spray foam for this, but I did not have any spray foam on hand. So I just chose to use this Gorilla Glue and I've already made a lure like this and it does work great. All right, now we're gonna add some super glue around the base of this right here and we're getting ready to put the halves together. All right, let's join these things together. Make sure the wire is in position. Make sure they're perfectly put together. Looks pretty good. All right, so we got both halves of the shell complete. Now you're gonna wanna let this dry until the glue has expanded in there. And you can usually tell because it'll kinda come out 
these little holes where I put the wires and uh, yeah so just let it dry alrighty guys this thing has dried and it feels very solid I can tell it's dry because there's a little bit seeping out of the edges but don't worry you just get some sandpaper and smooth that over okay now is the final step of this build and that is to put the lip on the front of this popper so we're gonna take our small bobber right here and we're gonna wanna take it apart and we're gonna wanna save this red part so let's do that Alrighty, when you're done you should be left with something like this. Now this bobber is slightly more brittle than the bobber that I used on my first prototype which is this one. So I'd recommend you guys get a bobber that's a little bit more flexible. This one's flexible but it seems just a little bit brittle so just keep that in mind. Alright, we're still going to use this though and we're going to just kind of trim these edges up here. They look pretty good. Alright, now the reason why we chose this side is you can see there's a hole from the back to the front. Now that means we can take our wire from here, we can fish it through and snug it up there. So let's do that next. All right, we just got, we just put that on as you can see. It looks fairly decent, but you can notice here, there's not really any neck right around this part. So this is where the hot glue gun comes in. You're gonna take the hot glue gun and just run a bead around this, just to kind of give it a neck so it doesn't look so quirky. And guys, I also wanted to mention that you can use other things besides a bobber for the lip of this bait. You can use a cap like this one, but it will take a little more work to get it to fit snugly against the main body. Alright guys, as you can see, we kind of gave this bait somewhat of a neck with the hot glue gun. And it's not the smoothest job in the world, it's kind of rough, but you can kind of work with that and, and smooth it out. The way I smooth the neck out on mine is just to take a lighter and gently run it over the glue like this and it will nicely melt it and flatten it out. But be very careful when you do this because you can melt the lip very easily. The last and final step is to just make a loop in the front for our line to go. Alright guys, there's the finished loop. I just looped it and then stuck the tag end back into the hole. Now just secure it with some glue and we are done with the main body of this bait. Alright everybody, I have finished my prototype of the lure and I chose a white base coat, a gold stripe down the center with some black speckle to kind of give it a really unique look. I also kept the mouth red just to kind of keep that traditional look there. And the eyes I chosen, they're not the most realistic but they do kind of add a cute character to this bait. I also put a feather trailer on the back just to give it that added attraction. So there you go people, that is how you make a lure out of plastic spoons. Very, very simple. I got my inspiration from this video from watching Paul Adams. He's another awesome YouTuber that builds some incredible lures, a lot better than mine. But he made like an underwater beetle out of two pieces of a spoon. So that kind of gave me the idea to make a popper out of this. Definitely go check his channel out. I will link it right here. That's just about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will be making a video with me taking this thing out and fishing with it and hopefully catching fish with it. So stay tuned for that. I can't really do it now because it's winter. So yeah. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. And remember, drink iced tea and catch fish. This is Brendan Miller signing out.